definitely feel like I'm in my cozy girl era right now. I'm by the Christmas tree. It is actually snowing right now. It just started like an hour ago, but it's already covered. Like it's white outside. And especially for my apartment, it's so white. I love it. But before we get into today's Christmas vlog, I would love to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is Book of the Month. And do not skip because you'll want to hear about this one. Book of the Month is a super popular, fast growing online book service for readers. Their mission is to support new and upcoming authors and also while doing that, help readers discover new books that they love. So how Book of the Month works essentially is that their team vets hundreds of books each month and then comes up with a curated selection of new and early release titles that us, like their readers, get to choose from every single month. Book of the Month makes it so easy um, to read. This is the cute little box here that it comes in. Book of the Month, how cute is that? It's like a little Christmas gift. And then you open it and it has your book in here so my selects of the month that i picked are kiss her once for me by allison Kochran, i believe that's how you pronounce it so this is a romance book and it's actually like a christmas one i've never read a christmas book before so i'm so excited to start this perfect for the month of december and then my second pick this month is all the dangerous things by stacy willingham so this is actually a thriller and mystery book and i've never read a book like this in my life i've only ever read really like romance novels so i'm so excited to read this but yeah book of the month even puts their little personalized logos on the book how cute is that so book of the month actually allows you to skip a month if you do not want to get a book that month so if you're a slow reader then you don't have to worry about locking yourself into a subscription that you're paying for and you're not even using and they also have the best price for new release hardcover fiction and you guys can get your first book for just five dollars with code wonder i'll have um the code and then their link in the description so if you guys want to check them out please do because i love reading but the thing is i'm a little lazy with it so if i'm not getting a new book every time i finish my other book i am not going to keep reading and i'm just going to stop with them it just makes it so easy that it's literally like a subscription so you can get one every month if you want you can get more than one every month if you want honestly a perfect christmas gift for yourself especially if you love reading or you want to get into reading this just makes it so nice and easy but yeah okay let's get into this christmas vlog okay you guys so the other day me and joel were at walmart and i didn't even like plan to get a christmas tree because i obviously wanted to do it for the video but we were there and i was just like you know what i have to snatch this one it's like the perfect size it has the snow on it and it's like reasonably priced so i was like you know what joel let's just snatch it up because right now it's november 8th some people might think this is too early to decorate for christmas but in my eyes, I see like November and December as the holiday season. So I just think of it as if I set up my tree in, no in December, then I'm kind of like wasting all of November because in November, I try to get myself excited for Christmas because if you just celebrate it personally, like if I just celebrated it in December, I'd be like, holy shit, it just goes way too fast. And I love the holiday season. So I like to extend it as much as I can. So anyways, that's why I like decorating in November because we just love Christmas and I've just been really in the vibe. Like this year, it already just feels like Christmas because we've had our first snowfall. It was like a tiny snowfall, but it snowed twice now, which is crazy. But I've just been in the Christmas mood. It's freezing outside. The weather is nice. Yeah, anyways, we're setting up a Christmas tree. This is the tree. If you guys are curious, it's their whatever this one is. I'll try to link it down below if I can find it. Yeah, anyways, we're just gonna set it up and play some Christmas music. We are currently at Michael's because we are going to get ornaments for a Christmas tree As you guys saw we already set up the Christmas tree and it's been up for a while now We just haven't decorated yet because I kind of wanted to wait a little bit because I wanted to film it I wanted Joel to come so this is just like when it works It's currently November 25, but we just wanted to put up the tree right away because that's just a vibe um, I looked at we looked at Walmart the other day just quickly while we were there to see if they had any ornaments and stuff But they didn't have any good ornaments and we're just like very disappointed with them. They were just like look kind of cheap looking 
and they just like didn't match the vibe that we wanted so i'm like where else can we go because we don't have target here so we pulled up to michael's because i feel like this is going to be our best bet and i always forget about michael's like for decorations i always just like automatically think of like walmart because that's just like where i always go but then i'm like holy shit i feel like michael's is going to have such good stuff because it's literally like a craft store like that's what they sell and i feel like if we don't find anything here i just don't know where else to go there's like winners and home sense but they don't they always have like very random things it's not like they sell like five of like everything it's just like random sporadic things so i'm hoping we get lucky here and find like decorations that we really like but pressure's on because we're going to be keeping these decorations for like years to come well what because, if we get a bigger tree well yeah but i mean like these ornaments like we're not just going to throw them out next year like we're always going to have them until we don't like who knows we might have them for the next 10 years um and like yeah we might get bigger trees and stuff like when we get a house but like we're probably gonna have them for like a long time so i don't want to like i want to do it right and get like good nice decorations so we're hoping that they have good stuff here because if they don't then i literally don't really know where else to look honestly i mean i guess there's always um that home store but i feel like they won't have anything anyways wish us luck <laughs> right now and there's nothing like there's stuff but there's no ornaments everything is like 60% off like on sale and we're really confused because we're like was there a sale before like a blowout sale before we came and everybody like ransacked ransacked everything like there's no ornaments last year when I came I don't know when I came but there was literally so much selection like for ornaments like really nice ornaments and stuff but there's literally nothing like I'm just genuinely confused because last year there was so much they must have had this huge blowout sale and everything is just gone now because everything is on sale i don't know if it's black friday today but like oh, that shit. no but it's black friday today though like we're we're not like late it's not like everybody came in the morning and ransacked this place you know but it looks like ran through like there's nothing here it's like there's just like random things it does make sense how it's on sale but at the same time it's like they should have stock like i'm kind of confused because it's, it's like end of November, isn't this when like, like you shouldn't, I'm just confused. Usually Christmas stuff goes on sale after Christmas. Anyways, I guess this was a fail. I was really, I thought that they were going to have so much here. Yeah. Where do we go now? <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. Okay. I don't know where to go now. Disappointed. Whoa. Oh God. That just, that, I didn't even touch it. That literally just fell. Okay. Yeah. Holly jolly. This is like all they have. So our next stop is the store called Jisk. Um, bed, bath, and home because there's nothing at Michael's. So we're gonna try here. And then if not, then we're trying a different Walmart that is like not the one next to our house, close to our house. So hopefully we find stuff here so that this could be our last stop, but we will see. Okay, this is our last and final stop. Canadian tire because there wasn't anything at the gist like literally the ornaments were so ugly and just like There was selection, but it was ugly So now we're at the Canadian tire and I'm very hopeful because I saw their ads online and they looked like they had good ornaments So we'll see if it's catfishing or not Okay, it looks like Ooh, there's actually oh, selection in here Like they actually have ornaments like everything the entire is actually winning right now. Okay, you guys, I think that we picked out. I'll show you guys when we're home. Haul. Katie and Tyra had the best selection out of everywhere we went. It was actually crazy. Like, I was expecting to get more, but I feel like we just don't have Target here. Target's the best, and it sucks that we don't have it here. What's whatever, I guess, but it still sucks. Because, like, when I think of, like, Chris decoration shopping. I just think Target, even though I don't even live in the States, I just think Target. We used to have Target here though, until it went bankrupt and then they left. Anyways, okay, so we're doing like a white snow theme. So these are the bulbs that we got and they have like, here, like you can see like little snowflakes in them. How cute is this? I feel like that this is just gonna make the tree look super Pinteresty and just like white and nice. So we got that. And then we got this snowflake tree skirt and it's like really fuzzy so i think that this like really just ties into the whole ornament theme 
that's really cute and then this is like my favorite thing the tree topper are you kidding me it's like i don't know if you can tell but it's like fabric material it's like you know what i mean and this ties in to the whole snowflake themes the snow the whole snow theme and then last thing we got is just i don't know if i'm actually going to use this i just got it in case we want to add a little extra something to the tree it's this like leaf garland that one i feel like would look super pretty we'll see not sure if i'm going to use this so I may return it yeah that's a little haul i feel like everything is gonna just look super sleek and white and nice and then i also still want to like go out and buy some nice christmas candles because i don't have any so we'll do that soon but, like a red or green one to bring some color into it but i definitely want the tree to be like nice and sleek and like snow themed because i feel like that's so cute but yeah we're gonna decorate probably tonight we're going to do the decorating right now i just lit the candles that one is unlighting but you got the gist and oh my god it actually looks so pretty in the camera what the hell look at it but yeah we just took out the decorations we're gonna decorate it i'm just gonna do a little time lapse for you guys so it'll be cute and i'm gonna make a tiktok too so go follow me on tiktok because i'm gonna do vlogmas on tiktok so i'm gonna be vlogging or doing like a montage of my day every day on there so go watch <laughs> So this is how the tree turned out. I'm actually obsessed with it. I just love how it's a snow theme and the snowflake and then the snowflakes down here. I think that it's so freaking cute and just like everything just looks so cute. I'm excited to collect like memorabilia ornaments if that makes sense since me and Joel this is our first year moving out. We're definitely going to get like an ornament to represent that. I'm going to go get one made but I feel like over time we'll just collect like ornaments that mean stuff to us you know what i mean but for now this is just you know your regular aesthetic ornaments but over time i definitely want to have like a lot of memorabilia ornaments on the tree but we will collect those over time so yeah i'm obsessed with it what is up you guys i just wanted to come on here and literally show you guys my new christmas pajamas that i got today at the mall so i actually bought these and then i got a matching pair of pants for joel so we can be twinning this is kind of like a christmas tradition that me and my family do every year is get matching christmas pajamas all together but i also just got me and joel a pair um these are different ones it's just like a fun thing that you can do with your partner with your friends with your family um like around christmas time that just elevates the mood like it's so cute if you get pajamas on you can like do gingerbread houses make cookies watch a movie i just love it like just like being in a pair of matching christmas pajamas just makes me so happy and when i saw these today i got them forever forever 21 by the way when i saw them i was so happy i'm like these are just the cutest things ever and i i've never gotten like a pattern like this before but i am in love also i broke my nail you guys oops not this one i broke this nail and it's so disgusting but i need to go get them done so stay tuned it's not gonna be in this vlog but stay tuned for an upcoming vlog because i'm gonna go i need to find some christmas nail and spoon get my nails done because they're so grown out and disgusting but that's what i get for being lazy about it but anyways i just wanted to literally come on here and show you guys our new pajamas because they're so cute um go follow me on tiktok because i just posted a tiktok in them with joel so go follow me on there and also go follow me on instagram if you're not already like what are you doing but anyways okay so i currently i'm at dollarama because i want to get those you know like those gingerbread molds um like they have christmas molds or whatever i want to find some gingerbread men and women um because i bought this pillsbury gingerbread dough and so i want to make cute christmas cookies tonight i did it last year and it was so much fun so it makes it easy just having the pre-made dough i'm pretty sure last year i like made dough from scratch but that was like a lot of work so i rather i just saw the pillsbury one and i'm like you know what i'm just gonna get this because 
it's really good so i'm gonna do that and then make cutie little gingerbread men it's a little christmas activity i'm so excited but yeah let's go in and see what they have hopefully they have them because it's dollar ammo so they should okay it also snowed you guys we also had a huge downpour of snow yesterday it literally pretty much mostly melted there's like some spots of snow in areas but like it basically melted there was like so much snow last night it was a literal like snowstorm um our power went out and everything but we're fine now and it was sunny this morning so it kind of melted most of it but it just like so vibey it feels like christmas i love it okay guys i just got back from the dollar store and i got this the gingerbread molds and then i also couldn't resist picking up these little cute christmas dish cloths um how cute just adds a little more of a christmas vibe in here and then i went to the grocery store and then i bought this cookie icing for the so i could do the little gingerbread men thingy meetings um but yeah that's a cute little christmas haul it is cookie time we're gonna make the gingerbread cookies um yeah i'm just gonna use the pillsbury and i actually have a roller so we're gonna use that i don't know where it is though i'm gonna have to find it because i bought a roller when we were moving in and i'm like i'm just gonna buy this for whenever i need it and now's the time eight months later is the time when i need a roller and we're actually gonna use it <laughs> this is actually a cute roller i got it from ikea also i'm keeping my toque on because my hair is so like disgustingly greasy right now so i'm not taking the tube off this is the gingerbread mix that i bought and where are the cookie cutters and then here are the gingerbread men and then the icing but i'm going to start preheating the oven now because this oven takes so damn long to preheat like my one at home i feel like it's huge but it preheats like really fast in this oven i'm telling you it takes like years to preheat oh my god this is a gingerbread girl what the heck that is the cutest thing they didn't have those molds at the dollar store i got so lucky though because i couldn't find them and then i was like you know what i was about to leave but then there's this employee that came and i'm like hey just wondering if you guys have cookie cutters she's like oh my god yeah we do but they're in a box because they were like unloading a bunch of christmas stuff she's like here's the box like you can get whatever you want in the box so then they had them in the box they were hidden so i'm like thank god i asked or else i would have had to go to check a different dollar store okay pre oven to 350 it's cut with cookie cutters so i gotta cut it in half roll it in a ball and then roll out and then do the cookie cutters fourth inch a quarter inch thickness that's like literally like that maybe i don't even know we'll just do like this so i just put parchment paper down on the island because i don't really want to roll it straight on the islands just because i don't know i feel like this is more sanitary so i'm just gonna use parchment paper and also i don't have to put flour down this way so it's perfect um but yeah we're gonna get rolling i just preheated the oven so let's make these gingerbread men and women <laughs> The gingerbread turned out this is just um extra dough but it only made two four six um seven i did these two pretty thick though but whatever it's fine they'll cook fine um but yeah and i'm just gonna pop them in the oven you guys they literally doubled in size i'm actually dying because there's such chubby gingerbread men now i'm dying this is so cute anyways i'm gonna decorate them now i will give you guys like a time lapse but yeah a lot of surface area to decorate now since they literally like look at this one it's smushed into the pan <laughs> so cute anyways okay let's decorate them <laughs> This is how they turned out. I'm so obsessed. They're so freaking cute. I did a little girl and a boy. And then, yeah, they're so freaking adorable. I'm in love with them. And I don't even want to eat them because they're so cute. But I'm eating this little cookie here. 
um that was just the extra dough but anyways how freaking cute i am obsessed this is such a fun thing to do you guys if you have friends over or something or you just want to do it by yourself while watching a movie so much fun literally just go with the pillsbury dough it's so easy and then yeah it's such an easy fun thing to do and you can even like get candies and like put them on too if you really want to go crazy with it Okay, so to end this Christmas vlog, we are going to watch The Grinch. My favorite version of The Grinch is the cartoon one. I do love the original, but the cartoon one just hits different for me. Like, I love it. Unfortunately, it's not on Netflix anymore. I don't know why they've literally been taking everything off Netflix. So, I don't know where to find it. So, I'm just watching the original one on Amazon Prime. But um, yeah, I definitely want to watch the cartoon one because I literally watch that one like 10 times a year. I mean, 10 times a season. Like it's an addiction. I love it so much. But I hope you guys enjoy this Christmas vlog decorating and everything. Um, if you guys want to see more Christmas content, subscribe because I'm going to be posting like Christmas vlogs all month. I'm going to try to post twice a week because I'm not going to do Vlogmas. That's definitely too much for me. But stay tuned for my festive vlogs. And I honestly love this time of year so much. So I'm going to try to make like cozy vlogs. Anyways, love you guys so much. Don't forget to like this video. Go follow my Instagram. And yeah, see you next time.